Hey friends, Ed Lance here with a new episode of Ed Lance DIY Home Improvement and Design. So today I'm going to start a new series, a basement renovation series. So there are multiple things that I'm going to be doing in the basement. So uh, you don't want to miss any part of this absolutely amazing video series. So uh, subscribe, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So, and also hit the notification button so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, so today we are going to start by replacing carpet, you know, on the, on the crates going downstairs. So we are going to remove the carpet and put oak wood and stain it. Uh, in part two, we are going to install, uh, you know, we are going to, in part two, we are going to install uh, a glass door in the, you know, to separate the basement area from the top area. So that will be in part two. And in part three, I will probably remove the carpet uh, in the basement floor and put uh, hardwood floor. And in part four, uh, I'm going to do some moldings. And in part five, I'm going to continue with the moldings and, pa and painting. In part six, I may be uh, installing the, uh, the white bar and in the basement. In part seven, I'm going to install some uh, speaker systems in the ceiling. In part seven, I'm going to install some additional lighting, lighting in the ceiling as well. And uh, that will be smart light, lighting. In part eight, I'll probably uh, build uh, an accent wall with uh, fireplace and uh, yeah, fireplace and some lighting and uh, you know that would be like our movie theater area and and so on. So that's a lot of things that I'll be doing in the basement. So I thought of giving you you know, some overview or some on some of the things that I'll be doing. And so if you are interested in any part of the things that I just mentioned, if you're looking forward to see how I, I will make all those changes, or if you're interested in doing something like that, so this will be a good opportunity to, you know, to look at this video series and, you know, to get some idea and on some of the things that you can do as well. All right, friends, so with that being said, so let's get into part one. Woohoo! Again, this is Elance DIY Home Improvement Design. Yo! Oh! A lot of stuff. I have a hammer. I have this. I have the rack. I have a stand. I have this unfinished steps, uh, stair steps. I have this plywood and I have additional plywood in the garage. And as you can see, this is Air Lance with a new episode of Air Lance Do It Yourself. So today we are going to be replacing this carpet with wood. All the way to the, uh, to the top, I have 13 step here and the other side. So we are going to get rid of all that and put some wood here, it's already kind of dirty. So let's get to work. Please like, share, subscribe for more videos. Thank you. And let me run up, all the way up, so you can see what we... So you can see what we are up to. So this is it, this is it, this is it, boom. That's it. So we have this area where we have a floor to do here. It will be fun. All right, let's get to work. Yo, got this knife. What if I start here from the top? Cutting this out. 
Oh. You can go away. All right. Where's my knife? Okay, I'm my knife. I'm going to cut this. Be careful, Ryan. Don't come up here. There's a lot of nests here and it's dangerous. So if I have, if I use this plywood and I put here, I still have this one coming, you know, in front. And this one is 11 and a half inch. It means when I sit it on top of this, I will have three, uh, three eight of an, of an inch right here, or three ten of an inch. So I need to figure out how to, to go about this. So one of the things that I'm thinking about is to 
cut this cut this front so this one will just sit on top of it and i'll have this front right there replacing this one but if i leave it the way it is i need to find a way for this thread to come all the way in front of this one so that this one will not be seen so i have to find a way either to fill this up and hide this part and have this one sit on top here or cut this off have this one sit here and have uh, another piece of plywood here and i have 13 steps so i might be better off just cutting this part off but the only issue with cutting the part off is the angle here i'm not going to cut it here uh, but here's okay but now going down in the basement i have a big this comes in more and that will cause me an issue to cut it so if I were to put some another layer of this plywood here, you know, this, you know, come in front of this. So I need something smaller than this, half of this, to be able to bring this to, to the front. And it's not a good solution. So I think I'm better off getting this, getting rid of this part. So if I get rid of this part, I'll be able to have the other one sit on top and just cover this. And I will not have to put anything else here beside the uh, the white plywood that will stay here. And I'll be better off that way instead of maybe calling 13 of this for the 13 step over here. So that's what it is. So I have to, I think I'll have to cut this part. So as you can see, I marked all these steps and I'm going to get rid of it. And once I get rid of all these, I'll have the other one sit on top of it and I think not the best solution that I can bring. So we have it right here at uh, seven and a half. Seven and a half is good. Seven and a half is really big. Seven and a half, short. Okay. Seven and a half. Let me short. Seven and a half. Let me big. Okay. Yeah, that may be short. Yeah, it's perfect. What about here downstairs? Alright, here's big. Alright, so we have to start upstairs with seven and a half inch. Once we get those seven and a half, we can come downstairs and get the rest. And I'm going to get seven and a half. And here I can make it here, seven and a half. And I put the safety. Once I have that, I need eight of these, seven and a half. Right here you can see we got all the testing steps cut out.
friends so uh, sorry i have to cut this and i cut it before he realizing that i should have recorded it so this piece this nose you see uh, the height of this nose like so when you put it down it's uh this part is you know it's causing it's uh you know it's below the height of this and one way will be to to dig all this out on both on both end and the other way is just to cut this to this size and then measure everything and cut it so that you can sit here as i've done here so you see this edge so with the table saw it's easy to just cut this corner and cut here so same thing here you just measure it and you cut it so when you put it here you'll be able to sit on top of that part so i want you to sit right on top of it like that so i don't have to cut anything here and it's sitting just beautiful so again sorry i, I forgot to record it but it's very easy so you have you mark here and you go your table so you get the uh, the, the, the measurements you put it and then you push you cut it through once you have cut this side you just get this uh, this width and then you put it on the table saw you cut it straight same thing on the other side and you will have this you know this out and then you'll be able to have it sit it just on top of this and with that it's just perfect so now I'm going to get this piece to cut Hey friends, so at this point, before we lock anything here, we have to figure out how this is going to cross over here. We have this post here, so we have to find a way to walk around it and make sure everything, you know, fit together. So, if I have this piece here, yeah, everything will be longer. So if I have this here, so I have this here, I have all this here coming. Alright. So here it tells me that I just have to take this and cut, cut it to fit this, this gap. So once I cut this right here to fit this gap, I'll be good to go all the way to the end. And I will have the rest just lining up. But now, I will need to find a way to fit this gap. And to do that, just the same thing, I'll just use my table saw, cut this size first, all the way to the end, and then get this part get and figure it out. Okay, so I think at this point, I have everything figured out and just have to start making the cuts. Alright, so we can start by marking this one. Have it marked here and cut that on the table saw. But to avoid having multiple cuts, I need to get a piece and go from here to here so I can cut one straight. Okay, so for this part, just need to do the same here, mark here. Cut it straight there. And once I have it straight, okay, this is not straight, so I will figure out the rest. So it will be somewhere here. Alright, so now that we have all that marked, it's time to get the cuts.
and right here. Right here. And this one. Hey friends, so now I'm going to change the, uh, the blade here. Just on this end. 
remove this and the blade is out so now that the blade is out i'm going to put this blade for the uh, you know to send And this one is in, and I can now put this sanding piece here, and I'm good to go to sand it. Right, let's do it. Hey friends, so this is time to paint and I have the uh, white high glove, perfect white. I'm going to be painting it and I put it all the, uh, the steps, the plate already with the, with the tip. So I'm just going to paint all those uh, that I did dirty when I was uh, performing this thing. And it's okay, let's do it. I'm going to use this to protect the top part. Just blow it. So now that I have this top, the open part and I'm just going to use the lavish my here to paint the lower part. Okay, I'm going to use my pen brush to complete this part. Okay, let's get the low part here. Hey friends, uh, now it's time to go ahead and seal all the, uh, the edges. You can see here that the painting, we have some, uh, some mark there, it's not even. So I'm going to seal it to cover some of the part where the paint touched the, uh, the crate. So I have this uh, advanced silicone waterproof uh, sealant and uh, I'm just going to use this white sealant to seal all the, uh, the edge all around
Hey friends, so at this point we are going to go ahead and uh, apply the uh, sealer on the stairs. So that's it for the first steps and you can clearly see the difference between this first step and the other one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that on all the steps. Alright, that's it and I'll show you the final product. Thank you for watching. Friends, as you can see here, we have come to the end of this amazing project. This guitar has been replaced, and now we have a uh, wood red, uh, white painted, and stained. So, let me take the work up. Everything has been sealed, and it's white shining. So, that's it. It's done, it's done, it's done. And I'm very proud of the job that I've done here because the color is not at all far from what they have on the floor. It's almost not the same thing. I love it. So this is it again, going down. Nice.